Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to TIE Fighter. I'm Computer and today I think we will be dealing with Battle 2. But first off, this screen probably looks a little different than it did in the last episode. That's because, well, I was planning on playing this game through in the with the collector's CD version or DOS CD version. But the frame rate drops during dogfights just... It just didn't work anymore. I was getting like 20 frames per second uh, in certain sections of the game and that just did not sit well with me. So instead I looked up uh, on the internet how to fix special edition. So uh, fix the music so that it actually plays during missions and increase the frame rate to 60 frames per second and enable hardware acceleration even though we no longer have 3D FX cards. And I managed to do all of those three. In fact, the links to those patches will be in the description and in all of the descriptions going forward. So yeah, also just to show you what it looks like now. We got uh, 800 by 600 resolution as well. Let's double check. Yes, 3D hardware, good. Oh, all oh, right, yeah. Uh, a few glitches here and there. Like if I move here, it goes straight to the other side. That's fine. Also, I had some problems with the joystick in the other version. Like it would... Every time you started the game, it would ask you to calibrate the joystick, which is fair, but because it asks you to go top left corner and then uh, bottom right corner, my joystick has a circular thing. So getting it precisely in the top left corner is kind of impossible. So I always had drift and I had to fix that for like two, three minutes every time I wanted to play the game. Uh, however, this one uses uh, Windows 95 or Windows 10's uh, joystick uh, support and gets its uh, inputs from like Windows, so you don't need to calibrate it. And you can also um, rebind pretty much all of the controls on your uh, joystick. So it's pretty much all good. Uh, back and game and let's just see a little bit how it looks. Yeah, uh, let's go with... Well, we're not going to see this for a very long time, so let's uh, fly a few levels. This looks a lot better now with hardware support. It's not so pixelated and you also get a... Oh, right, this problem. Um, in this game, you cannot go straight up or straight down because the world considers uh, like it looks at your heading in like a sphere and the apex means it can't tell if you're going to the left or the right for instance that's a very simplistic explanation of it but trying to go straight up is like trying to push two magnets with the same polarity together they just keeps like pushing each other away and so and it doesn't help that uh, they designed this obstacle course uh, that to have certain sections go straight up and then also straight down because that's how directions work. And so if we go here and actually slow down a little, I can't go a little out of the way. It's just not gonna happen. And this is a problem in X-Wing, TIE Fighter, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, and I believe even X-Wing Alliance as well. I'm not sure how modern games fixes this problem, but they do. So, yeah. I kind of want to remake all of these games. Not just a remaster, a proper remake. It becomes a problem later in uh, later obstacle courses when you have to go through very tiny holes, but... Uh, Oh well, let's quit out of this and actually start playing. Oh, and look at the background. 
you have like level here and you have two buttons there and a little level right there it's all very pixelated though isn't it it's a completely different now, uh, screen now yeah with the level on the right side and everything yeah that's because they lost some of the files uh, during between 95 and 98 I believe anyway that's neither here nor there interesting history though but uh, neither here nor there let's go to battle 2 here the Sepan Civil War We have received a distress signal from a This is also the older screen. Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Where did my Wait, um, hold on. The Give me a second. Attackers are using a modified Corellian Corvette and several uh, There weapons. we go. Right, right, right. Good. Tie Thank you. Fighters will deploy in two groups. Tie Fighter Alpha and Tie Fighter Oh, I'm back to, to the Y wings. Okay. Additionally, three Tie bombers Thai bomber group Beta will deploy to engage the corvette. The Demox are to be driven off, not annihilated, so be sure to let some of them escape. Hmm. Those that escape will report back to their leaders. They will realize the Empire means to end this war. We have received a distress oh signal God. from a rip of... But this is also the older one. Hmm. The Sepan peoples have been torn apart by civil war for generations. Each of the rival factions, the Ripoblis and the Demos, is guilty of committing atrocities against the other. Admiral Harkov has been given the task of bringing an end to this civil war. Your objective is to save as much of the Ripoblis convoy as possible. This will be accomplished by destroying enough of the attacking Demos to force the rest to withdraw. The survivors will report back to their leaders. Hopefully, the leaders will quickly realize the futility of further armed struggle. Yeah, that's gonna happen. You're a little bit too naive there. You will fly a TIE fighter designated Alpha 2. Oh good, I'm not the leader. Your flight group will consist of three craft. Follow your flight leader during the mission. You will be accompanied by the TIE fighter group Eta and TIE bomber group Beta. TIE Bomber Group Delta and TIE Interceptor Group Gamma are standing by, should circumstances require additional firepower. They probably will then, because you're mentioning it. ...operate a number of Y-Wings. Their fleet of capital ships is small, but includes a variety of small to medium starships. Many are converted merchantmen, but at least one is a Mon Calamari light cruiser with a squadron of Z-95 headhunters. Hmm. Because you mentioned that as well, I... Hmm. It probably won't show up in this mission, but we'll most likely see it later on then. Do as your commander orders, but pay attention to everything around you. Inspect the cargo contents of the convoy if you get the opportunity. Admiral Harkov's performance so far has not been all the Emperor had hoped for. Conflicting reports give us reason to believe everything is not as it seems in this civil war. Thank you. Okay, well, there it goes again. Apparently, if I go too much, too far down, uh, the mouse cursor just kind of disappears. So I need to Do what is it? inspect the cargo contents of the convoy. Got it. No missiles this time? Don't they trust me anymore? Or is it because it's a new battle, I have to prove myself all over again? Mm. Yeah. Actually, 
Interesting. So we will. Oh, good luck with that. Not quite yet. Which one? Uh, Victory Star Destroyer must have survived until all, until other goals completed. At least one of Modular Commander Group Asbo must have survived until other goals completed. And I need to inspect them. So let's do that before they get blown up. Naturally. Let's talk about the music. Because this is... Um, this game came out back when uh, the CDs were kind of new. And because it was Windows, they could... Uh, it was for Windows, I should say. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Now let's go kill some things. Anyway, because it was in Windows, they could suddenly... Come on, stop talking. Like I said, because it was Windows uh, 95, they could add normal just music tracks to the CD, and they felt that that was better sounding than MIDI. But these days we have things like uh, oh, what are they called? Oh, you're about to die, aren't you? Oh. Let's avoid getting destroyed entirely. You can make MIDI sound like a CD track, essentially. And that's what I was doing with the collector's CD. Anyway, you can't do that with a... Like, you can't make the CD music sound any better than it already does. Okay, good. Should I maybe... And also... <clears throat> sorry if I'm a little bit haphazard in my speech here. Let's go find you then. Wait, aren't, didn't you guys... Lee? Thank you. What are you up to? Wait, are you? yeah, you're leaving. Kinda wanted to inspect you. Thought I was close enough, but oh well. Oh, you are here! That is uh, um, unfortunate. But you are also there. Wait, is that mean? Okay. Guess I'm done then. Right, anyway, uh, the Collector CD, you had the IMU system. When this uh, Star Destroyer, or Victory Star Destroyer, uh, came out of hyperspace, it would have altered the music. Oh yeah, I'm going to wait for that as well, of course. And the music would have changed to be more, like, victorious, let's say. And if it were to be destroyed somehow, uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, the music would have become, like, more dour, let's say. 
That doesn't happen when you have a CD track that you can just play from one end to the other. And there's no way to fix it. So I, I think they kind of shot themselves in the foot. Then again... Then again... Sound fonts, that's the name. Um, like LucasArts probably didn't know that sound fonts would become a thing. So, yeah, maybe... Oh, kind of. So I can't really fault them for thinking that this was the right choice. It's just unfortunate in hindsight. And those guys are really scary, actually. That. This is Delta One. Target destroyed. Maybe I should have inspected that, or was it just? What are you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's, the lasers are probably green as well, so that's. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shoot me so my friends can shoot you. That's very good. There we go. There's always on, almost uh, on the verge of getting a little bit dizzy there. be aware of. Doesn't seem like it. Very good. Also, didn't I come here in like a frigate or something? Now this, uh, these patches that I've applied to the game also works on both X-Wing and X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter as well. So, um, I might go to X-Wing after this is done. Oh. Good job! Uh, well, I mean, it's a little bit weird to go to the original after having gone through the sequel, but then again, Lucas did that with the movies, so why not? Anyway, um, I think I'm inspected, infected. All escort mission uh, shuttles were destroyed. Good. I probably should have inspected that one ship that got away as well. Though it might have been empty, actually, because it was probably there to steal from the whatever they were called. Bird. What are you doing? Entering hyperspace. Very nice. Are you like just gonna stand there? Capture operation. Float Wait. there. Good, and I'm guessing you too are indeed you are. Make sure he's not trying to fly into us. Another thing that the special edition has going for it is that I can use the throttle perfectly. There were some glitches uh, with uh, using the uh, my um, 
X52's like programming program to create bands um, that were at 25 or lower it would press uh, backslash uh, or slash it would be different on an American keyboard anyway so never mind like uh, full stop and then uh, between 25 and 50 it would go to one third between 50 and 75 would be two thirds and then between uh, 75 and 100 it would be full full speed and this just because it's windows it just does it straight out of the box it mm, Capture yeah. operation begun. it's still not like uh x-wing alliance where you get an actual like you can go down to one percent speed if you want to with just the throttle uh instead of pressing i think it's oh yeah a three is the minimum speed you can have uh, where you play, press uh, plus and minus. Operation complete. Very good. Very good. Has been and will be taken to our base. Also very good. Uh... Okay. okay. Yeah, we can do that. I assume. I mean, there are no... Right? There are no enemies. So we just have to sit and actually... You know what I can do? Time dilation. Map space, good. Come on, speed up. There we go. Now you're going. And now you're going to. Good. Or are you going to? Felt like you were speeding up. Maybe you weren't. Now you are. Very much. Oh, a little speeding here, I think. I mean, it looks kind of good. Still, could look better, obviously, but uh, oh well. There we go. That was fast. Serve the Emperor above all others. Isn't that kind of what I already had? Then, uh, success, yes. 55%. I'll, I'll live with it. Yeah, I did miss a few bonus skulls there. Probably inspection. Could they have wanted me to destroy the Mon Calamari cruiser? I think that... or light cruiser, actually. I think that's a little overkill. Or suicidal, actually. But it's probably just inspection of things, and... I don't know. Ah, maybe... Yeah, maybe one of the bonus missions was allowing all to survive? Maybe? Probably. Also, these escort shuttles were attacking us. Why are they considered lost? She captured good good. Let's double check. Yeah. The escort shuttles were enemies. Why are they considered Oh well. 
you have helped prevent the destruction of the Ripperless convoy. In doing so, a strong and clear signal has been sent to the DMOC leadership that the Empire will not tolerate any further aggressive actions from them. However, we did also, like, capture them. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You have uncovered some very alarming evidence. There is no legitimate way the Ripperless could have acquired Imperial armaments. Remain vigilant. We will speak again. We Next are up. going to intercept a Ripperless reprisal raid on a DMOC deep space research facility. The raiding forces are made up of a pair of modified Corellian corvettes and several assault transports. God, I hate those. Thai bomber group Beta will deploy to destroy one of the corvettes as an example to the rest of them. Hmm. That I can the probably do. Convince the Ripperless to break off their attack. If not, continue your assault. Will do. That we are not seems seeking likely. complete destruction of the attackers. We merely want to force a withdrawal. The Ripperless leadership must also be taught that further acts of aggression will be severely punished. We are going to intercept... Interesting. The Sepan Civil War threatens to break out in full fury. The Ripperless are angered by the Demont's previous raid on their supply convoy. They are seeking revenge by attacking a Demox space installation. The Empire's goal is to prevent this conflict from mushrooming and spilling over into neighboring star systems. Therefore, Imperial forces must stop either side from gaining the advantage. To this end, you will help drive off the attacking Ripperless forces before they can do too much damage to the Demox space station. When they've taken sufficient losses, they will withdraw. Mm, will they, though? You will fly TIE Bomber Beta-2 out of Victory-class Star Destroyer Protector. Your flight group consists of three craft. For this mission, your craft is armed with the standard load of eight proton torpedoes. A combat utility vehicle is available to provide reasons oh, for nice. warhead launchers whenever they are empty. Uh, there question? are presently two modified corvettes and four assault transports attacking the station. The modified corvettes are not yet in range, but the assault transports are within torpedo range. The Ripperless have a modified frigate and more assault transports in reserve. All of these craft are well armed and oh dangerous from almost any angle of approach. Your best tactic is to stay outside of cannon range as much as possible. The Demox station itself is well armed and is defended by a handful of Z-95 headhunters and a pair of escort shuttles. Hmm. Okay, let's go make uh, enemies of both sides again. The Demox claim this is a scientific research station. Naturally, we are concerned to know what kind of research. As opportunity allows, attempt to inspect the platform and nearby cargo containers. Anything out of the ordinary may require further actions. Be prepared to receive new orders. Inspect, inspect, inspect. Ah, yes, now. There is a reload craft. So maybe I should use heavy bombs instead. Or heavy rockets would actually probably be better. Especially if I'm going up against... Modified Corvettes. But the modified transports would probably... Mm, they can be kind of... Well, not fast, that's not the word. Uh, they have a better turning radius than heavy rockets, let's say. Uh, also feels like they squished this entire thing. Uh, 800 by 600. I don't know if that's the same aspect ratio as 640 by 480 though, so I won't... Uh, that, that window doesn't feel circular exactly. Could be a perspective thing, though. Anyway, let's try torpedoes and see what happens.
good for you. Oh, that's kind of why we're here. Whoa! Uh, let's go with goals. Uh, container C lab module blah uh, must be inspected. Human jaws must be inspected. Right. Well, get your exhaust out of my view. Also, why do I only have six? Maybe that. Oh, you can shoot. Yeah. Can you still shoot them? Where are you? Where are you leaving? Let's not ask unnecessary questions. Yeah, that's the modified number one B, right? Let's go get some... Oh, you're on that side? Wow, have fun finding <laughs> your Star Destroyer then. Uh, let's see, where can we find a... Epsilon, yes. Let's make you F5, so I always know where you are. Also, maybe I should stop to think about being... Target destroyed. Good. Also, some, someone is still firing at me. I don't like that, and I should probably not be moving in a straight line. Oh, wait, no, you're not there to do what I thought you were. You're... Are you? Where's my supply? Come on. Let's get new. Alert no, pilot no, epsilon no. Come on. Did they destroy it already? No. Since you're attacking once, yeah, attacking, yeah. Transport, transport 2, and that's from the inspection. Well, where's my... Where's my resupply? Oh, yeah. Uh, Can I get behind you, actually? Are you still... Oh, you're gonna help us, huh? That seems... Um... That was weird. Sight of the guns. 
And then go back again. Oh, and you're moving. Okay, good, 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 good for you, but very bad for me. And you start moving. I need to stay here, though. Because you can still fire, I think. Damn, but where's my resupply? Oh, uh, What are you doing? Flying home, good. How is my friend going? Yeah, you're doing just fine. Oh, no, not beam. Do I not have... I thought I had like a breathing screen somewhere around here. Like tells me these are the mission parameters. Except, you know, not the... not this screen. Uh, I digress. The, the little blue star just to the upper left there on my crosshairs. I cannot go to that star at all. It's really obvious when you know what you're looking for. And now, of course, I can't go up either because I was going straight down. I really want to... Uh, or do I have to go to the, like, the Star Destroyer to get uh, a light, maybe? Now you're fine with me. Got it. What did he say? Um, Epsilon's shields are failing. Epsilon? Epsilon. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you're about to die. Um, home. Actually, no, never mind. Um, ignore. Uh, can I tell you to ignore? I can't, probably. Oh, and you're fine, still firing at me. Got it. Um, not entirely sure what to do here. If. What are you doing, actually? Flying home, yeah. Okay. Mm. Beta two, watch it. You're under attack. No kidding. Well, I... Mm. Again, I'm not happy about it, but I think I'm gonna have to call this quits. Unless the transport can actually, you know, get back into the fight after having gone home, maybe? Transport Epsilon 1 has completed mission, which was what? Oh, right, my targeting computer is not functional. Let's go here. Yes, it is. Oh, system repaired. Never mind. But what? Hmm? Uh, 
Well, I don't have any ion missiles. I think that's the thing in like X Wing Alliance, though. Let's see. Okay, I can go there. Yeah, but I can't tell it to repair me. Ow. Success, yes. How many did I fail? One bonus goal of six. That's a lot. Uh, maybe if I'd had, you know, helped them a little bit. Oh, we destroyed both modified corvettes. Nice. Not so nice. By intercepting a ripperless attack on the Demox, we demonstrated that the Empire favors neither side in this conflict. Soon they will all learn to obey <laughs> Imperial rule. That's a bit cliche, my man, but uh, be optimistic, you. Um. You discovered the existence of a secret weapons lab and played a role in its capture. Congratulations. Such initiative is rare. You told me to do it, so it's not really initiative? Some ripperless refugees of the Civil War have hijacked system patrol craft Glass and are seeking asylum. Mm -hmm. The system patrol craft has no hyperdrive, but is accompanied by a pair of Lambda-class shuttles providing escort. Their own government is trying to stop them. A team of Y-wings and shuttles has just arrived. TIE Interceptor Group Gamma will intercept the Y-Wings. Oh, intercepted is like nice. Group Alpha attacks the shuttles. Each group contains three craft. System patrol craft Glass must be kept safe long enough to dock with the protector and transfer everyone aboard. The Glass will then be fitted with decoys and abandoned. Their shuttles will enter our hangar. Right. Some ripperless okay. refugees... Uh, this is starting to get a little bit complicated. Nuke them all from orbit. Let uh, someone else sort them out. Your mission is to provide safe asylum to some ripperless refugees fleeing from the Seafan Civil War. They are principally scientists who are weary of the way their knowledge has been put to use. They have stolen a system patrol craft and a couple of Lambda class shuttles. Hold up, the hold up. Patrol craft isn't hyperdrive Excuse capable. me. So it will have to dock with the protector to transfer the refugees. The shuttles can be accommodated in our hangar. They're worried about like moral implications about how their research is being used, and they defect to the Empire. Okay. Maybe their research was being put to good use. And that's why they go to, to the Empire. You will Let's go with that. Interceptor designated Gamma 2. Right, right. Your flight group will consist of three craft. TIE Fighter Group Alpha will join you. Thai bomber okay, so we got some bombers in reserve. reserve. Got it. The Ripperbless government forces consist of four Y-Wings and four Lambda-class shuttles. We expect that Y-Wings will attempt to disable the system patrol craft and one of the shuttles will then try to board and capture it. The Demox will probably try something as well, so stay alert. Yeah, um, hmm. Wasn't it like the TIE Interceptor's uh, objective to go after the Y-Wings and the TIE Fighters to go after the Shuttles? Shouldn't it be the other way around? This is uh, like... never mind. Do we get any missiles? No. Wow, you should not be moving while I'm... Anyway. You guys are going after us? That'll work. Promise. 
Uh, okay, so there are... Money. What was that? I couldn't hear you over me changing my weapon settings. There, apparently, or there. There we go. Why did you guys wait so? Oh, because you're going to uh, disable it, not destroy it, so you didn't use your rockets and missiles and torpedoes. Close. Feels so much better to have some actual frame rate. Although, apparently, like, they move a little jittery, actually, if you look. Oh, well, um. Let's go destroy some of that. shuttles. What else do we have? Mazar, glass. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna inspect you. If you contain bombs, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Because what if you're a decoy that we're thinking of putting a decoy in? No, you're refugees. Well, I mean, that is if we trust this system. And the other ones were DMOX, right? Good shooting. Ammo two target destroyed. Oh. Technicians, you say? Kind of only... Sigma. I'm gonna let someone else destroy the... the omens and bakers. They probably just want to destroy it though, don't they? Come on, thank you. And yeah, now I think some also. Oh, that's just a moon. Got it. I thought maybe this was somewhere around the vicinity of up or down. Close to me, but nice. Maybe I shouldn't be saying anything. So, come on. Look. 
Can I ask him what he's doing? No, I can't. Oh, you're attacking me. That that makes me feel a kind of way. Uh, please stop doing that. Because you just straight up die. Also, Demox. Going bigger four, huh? Or do you have any other friends? Also, destroy that. Or maybe I should destroy that actually. Yeah. Seems I'm closer. What are you doing? Good. Our friends have... Our potential friends, I should say, because uh, you never know. Have docked with the victory. Or victory star destroyer, protector. What else do we have this going for us? Right, we're all done. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be compared to the, you know, even though the victory is a little bit smaller than the standard uh, Imperial Star Destroyer. Actually, what are they called? VSD, Victory Star Destroyers, yeah. And Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Whoa! That uh, hit me, actually. I was about to say that was close, but no, it was an actual hit. No. There we go. Uh, how are we going doing goals? Pretty much done, but why would this show up then? your exhaust. Got it. Come on. Isn't there anything else to do? Hold on. Patrolcraft graphs. Uh, glass has been destroyed. Well, um, actually, you know what? Since it's just one left, let's go kill him. One of them hit me, so they must all suffer. Maybe I don't have to get involved. Maybe, just maybe. I see, he can still keep firing even though he's, you know, gone. That's... I wish I had that ability. Let's see, was there any... Yeah, there was a bonus goal for that. Nice. And... Yeah, I think they're just called Victory Class Star Destroyers. 
and the bigger ones are just Imperial class Star Destroyer, maybe. Uh, yes. 76%, nice. One of two. What would the other one be? Letting glass survive? No, it was just a decoy. Maybe some ships escaped? Maybe? Or maybe I didn't identify some of them. Inspect them, probably. Uh, and we did lose a Tidarian shuttle. Maybe that was it. We brought a peaceful end to this war for at least some of the people. These refugees we've rescued will be forever grateful to the Empire and the Imperial Navy. We hope. Ooh. And I think that'll have to do for now. Pretty sure it'll have to do for now. And uh, so, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been TIE Fighter, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.